Hey there chameleons, it's your girl Camille and as you can tell, there's something different about me today. That's right, I finally got my eyebrows done. Okay, it's my hair, but eyebrows are still really important. Anyways, you already know what this is. I'm gonna show you how I achieved this purple and pink look, or as I like to call it, a purr pink on my hair. It's perfect for festival season or just whenever you feel like you need a change in life. So let's go. So I'm using two dyes today. Both are from the new Garnier Color Sensations Permanent Color Cream line that just launched at Walmart and there are links in the description box down below. I am alternating between the Garnier Color Sensations 8.21 Sweet Lavender Dreams, which as you can tell by the name is a lavender, and the Garnier Color Sensations 9.20 Smell the Roses, which is a nice pastel pink. Each box comes with a 20 volume developer, a tube of the colorant cream, a packet of rose infused after color conditioner, a set of instructions that I recommend reading before using, as well as checking the side of the box to see how the color will show up on your hair. And there's a little precision brush all wrapped up in there. I love when dyes come with gloves that are attached to the instructions and you just get to peel them off. It's honestly so satisfying and everyone deserves to feel that feeling. <laughs> Plus, when you're working with chemicals, you absolutely need to wear gloves anyways. So I started with nearly white hair because I'm using pastel colors and that's the only way to get them to really show up well. If you want to see a video on how I did this, it's linked in the description box down below. So the first thing I'm going to do is take out my bun hun. Then, parting my hair down the middle to section off one side at a time. Now I'm making really thin slices of hair from the front to the back, so when it comes to using the two colors, I can easily alternate sections so it all curls together. I'm doing the sections now just because it takes a while to do on curly hair, so I'm getting it over with first. But if your hair is straight, you can probably do this on the fly or even do smaller sections. I'm making these sections go all the way to the back of my head, then separating them with bobby pins so they're easier to grab later. Once you have your hair sectioned out, you will look crazy. Now you can put on those gloves to save your sweet little fingers and open the developer. Pop open the tube with the cap, squeeze out all the colorant cream in there, cover the tip, and shake it like a Polaroid picture. I'm doing the same thing with the purple, so I can have both ready to go. Depending on your situation, you can use the brush or your hands to apply the dye. Brushes tend to get tangled in my hair, and I'm not having anyone help me do the back, so I opted to use my hands to spread the dye so I could really feel what I'm doing. The most important things to keep in mind are that it's really important to get all the way to the base of your roots with the dye and even more important, to make sure your hair is very saturated in dye before moving on to the next section, or it'll come out lighter and patchier than expected. These dyes are designed to nourish your hair while they color it, can cover gray hairs, and are made to be a creamier texture so it's much easier to work with. I alternated between the pink and the purple dyes for each section until that side of my head was done. Since I ended with purple on this side of the middle part, I'm using pink on the other side. The last thing I did was use some of the pink dye to cover my baby hairs to make sure that they got some love as well. I alternated sections for the rest of the other side as well, and then left the dye in for about 30 minutes. After that, I rinsed the dye out in the shower until it ran clear, and then used the after color conditioner, which was so incredibly conditioning that I decided to leave it in overnight and rinse it out the next morning. Then I just styled my hair like usual and that's it. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you think about this new color. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe and follow my social media which are linked in the description box down below. Thanks so much for watching, I wish you all a happy healthy life and I will see you in the next video. Kisses! Mwah!